Almost two and a half years have now passed since the people spoke in that big democratic referendum. The people voted in very large numbers to take back control of our laws, our money and our borders. They voted to reclaim the lost sovereignty of the United Kingdom electorate. They did so in the teeth of enormous hostility and propaganda from many elements of the political and big business establishment. They were told they were too stupid to understand the arguments. They were told there were huge dangers if they dared to vote to leave the European Union. They were told by both campaigns and by the government in a formal leaflet that we would be leaving the single market and the customs union because rightly we were told that the EU would not allow us to cherry pick bits of the single market and customs union and they were an integral part of the whole. They were given a set of entirely bogus and dishonest forecasts about what would happen in the short term after the vote and practically every one of those forecasts was wildly too pessimistic and it has led to the distrust between the vote leave majority and the establishment that pushed out those forecasts. And I would urge this House to move on from Project Fear, to move on from gloom and doom, to understand that very many million decent, honest voters made a careful and considered decision, and they do not believe you when you tell them it will all go wrong or it must be reversed or they must be told to think again and vote again because they didn't do their homework. It is deeply insulting to the electors and I'm sure this Parliament is worthy of so much better a performance than that. Because the people were saying something wonderful for this Parliament. They were saying, we believe in you, Parliament. We believe you can make wise laws. We believe you can make even wiser laws than the European Union. We believe you can make better judgments about how to spend the tax money we send you than the European Union, which spends so much of the money on our behalves in ways of which we do not approve. We believe, O oh Parliament, that if you do help us take back control of our laws and our democracy, then we will get better answers. Or, of course, Parliament, if you do not give us a better answer, we have our sovereignty back, we the people, and we will dismiss you. And one of the things that most annoys people about the European Union in the leave voting majority is that we cannot sack them. Whatever they do, however bad they are, however much money they waste, however irritating their laws, we have to put up with them. We cannot sack them. We cannot have a general election. And the Scottish members say they feel like that about the Union of the United Kingdom. But we gave them the democratic opportunity, and their people say they like our system of government because this is their democracy too. And it